This is a Chasson 640. It's a seven meter vehicle. And there's a couple of things about this that I particularly like, which I'd like to show you. So this is based on a Ford chassis. It's a coach built, as you can see. It's got a 170 horsepower engine and it's an automatic, which is interesting. And on this side, there's a couple of things I like. There's a shower, for example, in here. So that just plugs straight into there. And then that one is the shore power. So that allows you to plug in and get 240 volts on the vehicle. But if we head back here, you see this door here, open this fella up. This I really like because it's a huge storage area. It's brilliant for bikes and that kind of thing. But what's neat is these shelves, because these drop down like this for shelving. You can see there's another one up there. Or if you put them up, you get this really high section. And that's brilliant for things like paddle boards or, or other tour items like that. I think that's a very clever idea. Head on around the back. It's quite a big, chunky vehicle, as you can see. This one's seven meters. And if we head on round, it's all pre-drilled for a bike rack. If we look on this side, that is taking us into that same area. So it's brilliant for deck chairs and all that kind of stuff you might want to put in there. And if we come right on around, these are massively popular. We're at Highbridge Caravans at the minute, and they say this is one of their best selling models. So it's an interesting one to show you. Let's head on in. And this is the interior. Now, what I like about this is it's all so nice and light, just makes it feel even more spacious, although it is pretty spacious anyway. If we come back here, you can see a lot of room in here. Now these can be converted. You can lift these backrests up and you'll see that there is seat belts back here. So with that up and that piece taken away so you can sit facing forward, you've got a seat belt seat on that side and the same over here. So it's your seat for when you're underway. If you come right up to the front then these seats swivel around to make more of the seating area as you can see. These are all automatics which does make life a little bit easier. You can see the transmission for it there. And I mentioned it was the Ford engine. You can see it's the Ford chassis on this one. So you get all the usual bits and pieces that you would expect. And if you look right on round and back, again, you get that big feeling of space in here. And that's because they've not tried to pack too much in. Now, one thing it does have, and unfortunately I can't show you because it's not actually operating at the minute. So that is a massive bed up there. I think it's six foot by five foot, something like that. And that will drop down. You can bring that down so that you can still use this as sleeping by converting this into a bed or you can bring it all the way down if it's just a couple and you just want a massive great big bed there and it means you can leave all the bedding on it, power it back up out of the way and you're ready to go. I like the lighting in here, I think they've done a nice job with that. And then if you come on back here, we've got the kitchen area. So you've got your stove, three burner hob there and your oven. And then this is all of course storage in places like this and here. Sink is over in the corner. And you've got all these windows. You can see they've got blinds on them as well as this one's got just here. And then more storage up in behind places like this. But then if we come on back, well, first of all, there's a big fridge freezer on this side, so that's useful. Like so. You've also got control panel and heating controls and that sort of thing. That's up on this panel just here. But then finally, you've got the bathroom and that's right across the full width of the vehicle. So it's a really nice size. If you slide that back, you can see you've got a proper decent toilet area there. You've got the sink, but you've also got a completely separate shower and that's quite unusual. It's proper home from home stuff, isn't it? So you go in there and close the shower door off. And what that means is that you can step out of the shower You've got a nice dry bit here to get dried. And you can do all of that with this door closed with a bit of privacy. That's fantastic. Really nice, I think it's a great feature. There's a lot of nice features in this one actually. You can see why they are so popular. So there we go, that's about it. Huge thanks to Highbridge Caravans, they've organized this tour. I'll put a link to those guys in the description and a huge thanks to you guys for watching. We'll catch you on another one of these very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.